Are we I'm ready? ready one. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is this is okay. Welcome back to coming this summer. This is the this is the movie that me and Ryan were were pretty hyped on when yeah. they announced it two years and ago. And then yeah, and then um, they delayed it a year because The Rock decided mm-hmm. to be a super dick for some reason mm-hmm. and caused like eighty plus million in delays and well, like, allegedly and all this stuff. It's like it's, release the movie sooner when you were in more favor to the public, you know. Not yeah, when so the story comes now. out that you're the reason this movie costs more money than it should and the reason yep. it's coming out two years late. So now it has to be like a super smash to be worth it, right? And, and then he's got the nerve to put the Seven Bucks production logo in the front. And it's like, mm. you cost this movie a bunch of money, though. More like, I'm a rock bucks. fan, but like, not 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 lately, you know? Yeah, I don't know. He's on the downswing. That's downswing for sure. for sure. So here we go. Here's Fucking... the movie that needs to make five hundred million dollars yeah. domestically. I think. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Break it. laughs> Good luck with that shit. I'm surprised this wasn't just like a streaming straight to mm-hmm. Peacock or wherever MGM. It probably puts was supposed movie. to be until yeah. the budget got to. Mm-hmm. 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 Red one is the title because it's in the red. Nice. Green lot. one was the original title until The Rock <laughs> wasted time. <laughs> nice. Here we go. Red one. Four ninety seven. Four ninety eight. Four hundred ninety nine. Five hundred. Let's go heavy. That's the million dollars they're counting up and up strong, and up. Right? <laughs> Four hundred ninety five. Five hundred. Evening, ladies. <laughs> Uh, November freaking fifth. Yeah, not even Christmas. What the? Wait, yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> what? Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, Ryan. Yep. <laughs> November fifteenth. That's even before well, Thanksgiving. They're doing a Christmas movie. They think this one's gonna have legs and it's gonna play all through <laughs> Thanksgiving. And I'm not kidding. That's the reasoning behind oh, that my terrible, God, terrible dude. decision. Um, absolutely. You remember? Freaking- do you remember the sequel to the uh, what's the Netflix Santa Claus movie it's with Kurt Russell? Um, Christmas Chronicles when they're on the beach yes. in the second one. Yes, I know That's exactly what you're talking about. Literally the same. I was gonna say <laughs> something when they first showed the beach, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna shut up. And then when they showed the tiki hut in the exact same spot, and I was like, oh wow, that's. Hey, why can't we get a third oh one of those? You know. Yeah, I take the third. Except Christmas we got this Chronicles bullshit. This. this looks really not good. This it is... doesn't look great, but I'm like kind of holding out hope because of the cast. Like, Chris Evans yeah, is great. Because, honestly, know? we've seen trailers that have just not been good. Like, yeah. Like, good trailers. And the yeah. Movie good. This doesn't look like a good... They showed way too much. It should have just been, like, Santa Claus is kidnapped and we need to bring in this guy. They're fighting snowmen and Elden Ring bosses and fucking Krampus. Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, it looks like they're blending, like, the, the Disney Santa Claus show with... The, with like the Disney Santa Claus with movies, Christmas Chronicles, with, yeah, with the Christmas Chronicles with the Tooth Fairy. Like we're doing all of them. Yeah, I'm I, out. For those I'm reasons, out for that. I'm out. out. You know what I mean? Like, like they could have showed just JK. a teaser of like yeah. J.K. Simmons working out as Santa Claus, and I would have been like, I'm so on board for this movie. Yeah, but... just show me J.K. Man, <laughs> that's all we want. But they showed us everything. They showed yeah. us the whole movie. Like, what? What are you doing, man? Because the movie's been done and they've just been doing reshoots because it's yeah. so fucking delayed that it's like, we better get this thing out in November because it's already oh, older. Oh, no. This movie costs $250 million. There you go. Oh, you no. Got... Read it. Read it. No. Right. Production issues ranging from Johnson's chronic lateness and lack of professionalism on set mm. to producers' inexperience no. caused costs of the movie on the movie co-starring Chris Evans and J.K. Simmons to spiral upwards to a final budget of two hundred fifty million. That's from the rap. Allegedly, the budget yeah. was supposed uh, to be around one hundred and fifty. A sum more oh, fitting God. for a superhero tentpole. Now let's check that the Black looks... Adam budget: one hundred and ninety and two hundred sixty million. This movie almost cost as much as Black Adam. Yeah. Holy cost, shit, bro. Shit. Black Adam yeah, cost right. ten million more dollars than this. Mm. <laughs> what oh the fuck, God. man? I mean, I don't want to be like jumping on the ba- bandwagon of shitting on the rock, but he's not giving no, us many options here. You know, right? This like Chris Evans looks like he doesn't want to be in this movie. 
And I get it that he's like the naughty detective or whatever, but he just, they all, nobody looks like they want to be in this movie. Even The Rock is like, ugh. Like, I'll kill you. <laughs> I take this as seriously as real life. Yeah. It reminds me of, you guys remember Tooth Fairy? I said this yeah, earlier that's today. What I was saying earlier, doing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're just doing Tooth Fairy again. They are. And this is The Rock's production company's first, it looks like, first solo ride. That's why it says an experience and it starts with a seven bucks production. So he probably had his whole personal squad on this. And that's why he was always late because he ran the movie and didn't give a shit. When this was announced that it was a oh, Christmas was movie hyped. with Chris Evans and The Rock, I went, well, how can that fail? You know? Yeah. How Thank could you. that possibly lose any money? And The Rock said, hold my ZOA. <laughs> Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh my god! Look, this looks like a it. fucking. It looks like a fucking Elden Ring boss. Like it's this, this giant like thing. Like they're gonna be dodge rolling all over the place. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's the ghost that of does. Christmas Pass or some crap. What is that? Come on, Tell me you wouldn't if play DLC that, where I'm not that game. you would. If J.K. Simmons DLC Santa was in the game and you have to be the Rock or Chris Evans, and you got to fight these snowmen. <laughs> uh, so maybe, oh, maybe they are going to tie this. Maybe there's like multiple Santas and they're going to, they're going to, you know, in the Kringle verse or whatever that they're going to have. Not the like, Yule verse? Like, no, nah, that's different. That's Disney. It's okay. This is GM, <laughs> the Yule right? tie verse. Like JJ, Netflix... you joke, but in the Santa Claus Tim Allen series on Disney Plus, which is a continuation of the Santa the Claus movie starring Tim Allen from the early 2000s, no, they go to the Santa no, multiverse. No. And it's called no. the Yule verse. <laughs> Is this like Santasia? No, it doesn't have a name. Kringle. No, the Yule verse. Stop trying to name it. JJ, JJ, if you watch that show, you'll never say a bad thing about uh, Santa Claus two or three again. You'll go those. Those were those are those are Citizen movies. Kane compared to fucking. <laughs> 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 Though that well, show. As really did think of movies. As bad as that show looks, it looks better than this movie. If I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, special of two hundred fifty million dollars. For this? Mm -mm. For that right there? For that. Oh. Mm. Great logo. Solid ass logo, you know, but what are we doing here? Uh, what are we doing here, guys? So bad. Who's gonna take over for Santa when J.K. Simmons dies in this movie? Santa Claus is dead. <laughs> Who's gonna take over? Is it gonna be the rock or is it gonna be the naughty list guy? Oh, they'll save him. Naughty list guy will sacrifice or, himself to get on the good list or some crap okay i could yeah, see that get on the nice list. or do you think the rock will sacrifice himself and then chris evans has to take his role i eh? can see that too yeah right yeah, yeah right this this strikes me as like everybody gets what they want in the end like, true in the movie. santa gets to where he wants the rock saves him. they probably meet a girl along the way that they both fall in love with or whatever lucy you know? lou it's very yes yep Probably. I mean, there's no other reason she would yeah, be in the movie. You Knowing <laughs> the holiday season, everybody wants to be all cheery and stuff. So, like a good end. All right, that's red one. I'm 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 disappointed in you, Rock. It is yeah, an so. extension of the DCEU movie that was released last year. So again, what the hell does that mean? What are we doing here, man? What are we doing here? Uh, Blue Beetle returning to the screen, but in different media. After the 2023 release of the live-action Blue Beetle film, its director and writer have boarded on the animated series adaptation. Okay. But there's still no word from James from Jimmy Bullets on this. The director and writers are working on the show, which is a great idea. Blue, P, uh, Blue Beetle EP will also oversee the, the project. Okay. So executive producers, pretty much the whole crew of the first...